This guy has got to be the greatest Youth Academy player I have ever found. Macclesfield Town. Rock bottom of the English 4th Division. After being promoted last season, they are looking almost destined to drop back down to non-league football. Not if we have anything to do about it though. Mr. Rebuild's taking over from Sol Campbell and taking the Silkman out of League 2 and beyond. All the way to the Champions League final. Today, we rebuild Macclesfield Town. G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the rebuild series for what might just be one of the toughest rebuilds we are going to do in FIFA 19. This is going to be one hell of a challenge here with Macclesfield, but my God, am I looking forward to it. And I mean, if you guys are looking forward to today's rebuild, make sure you leave a like on the video. I'm assuming that it's gonna take me in excess of 15, 20, 25 hours just to record it, it took me 25. So I would appreciate your support. Also make sure if you are new around here that your bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. For those of you who have not seen a rebuilding challenge video yet, here are the rules. So the main objective of this is to take a team to the Champions League final. We will be simulating every single game up until the Champions League final, which we will play ourselves. We can make whatever transfers we like Realistic, unrealistic, it does not matter. There's a big focus on the transfer window, only showing players that we sign. And finally, don't get butt hurt if I sell your favorite player. Let's get into the rebuild. So at the start of season one, this is what our starting 11 looks like. And my God, we have a lot of work ahead of us. If we want to get even promoted out of the second division, we're going to have to do some fantastic work. But I feel like... A lot of this rebuild, I'm going to dedicate to the Youth Academy and see what we can do from that front. Have a little bit of fun there, but let's get into the transfer business, the Youth Academy business. I'll keep you guys updated, but this rebuild might be a little different to normal. So I have decided to go the full Youth Academy route for the first few seasons, really get ourselves a nice youth core and build the squad up. So we've hired a Danish scout, Tobias Henriksen who is going to be scouting in England for six months. And then we have hired Alberto Ricci, who looks pretty damn good, to scout in Italy for six months. So I will let you know when we promote somebody to the side, but we'll see what we do. I might still sell some players to get some more cash in, but we'll really see. I'm taking this one step by step because not even I know what I'm going to do. So yeah, no business done in this opening window. I'm really going to focus on the youth route for the first few seasons and build up a solid foundation until we have a little bit more money to work with. So maybe I'll see you at the halfway point of the season. Maybe I'll see you when we announce somebody to our first team from the youth academy. But regardless, I'm sure I'll see you. So straight away in September, we have found an absolute gem of a player who we brought into our youth squad and who is ready to be promoted to the squad straight away. It is Toby Rose. Poor fella's already lost his hair at 17 years of age, but I'm going to promote him here to the senior team. So what a pickup, 65 rated with great potential. And we're going to go ahead here and offer Giuseppe or Giuseppe Colombo an offer here to the senior team, 63 rated left back. He could be a fantastic pickup. Already getting some great players early on here, but I mean, it wouldn't be great if we lost our job. I literally did something good for our objectives and I went down one point. That makes no sense. And we're going to promote our third player here, Gabriel Rinaldi, a 62 rated center midfielder, 17 years of age. He will join the senior team. So here we are at the halfway point of the season, sitting in 21st on 25 points. So we are above where Macclesfield are in real life, but we're definitely in that range still. So promotion I think it was out of the question to begin the season, but now it's definitely out of the question. So I'm just focused on number one, not losing our job, which I think we're pretty good with at the moment. Our manager ratings back up in the gray and I'm focused on building this youth academy out and really getting a good young core in. I don't know if you've seen Cutsy's uh, Youth Squad Legends series, but I'm following a similar path to that today where I don't really worry about results super much a heap for the first few seasons. I'm more focused on building out all of the Youth Academy players, if that makes sense. And we've had a player departure here. I've decided to sell on Keith Lowe to Coventry for 67,000 pounds. 
Big money here, big, big money. Low out, nobody in. Youth Academy coming on nicely. Starting 11, slowly building. Let's see what happens between now and the end of the season. Gabriel Rizzo has come to us stating he wants out of the Youth Academy if he does not get a contract. So we're gonna promote him to the senior team. 60 overall, not incredible, but he'll be valuable to grow with the squad. Mattia Greco wants in to the senior team. And I mean, looking at that overall and potential, we're gonna give it to him. Welcome to the senior team. Francesco Cassidy, a very Italian looking midfielder, wants into the senior team as well, which we are going to do. So at the end of the first season, we have finished in 20th position, basically achieving our first goal, and that was saving Macclesfield from relegation. But obviously there's no non-league football in FIFA, which is definitely something I want in the future. But uh, yeah, we have technically achieved our goal, but yeah, we finished in 20th on 51 points, so that is good to see. Lincoln City, Mansfield, and MK Dons automatically going up. Burnley won the FA Cup. Manchester United took down Fulham to win the Carabao Cup. Rochdale won the Checker Trade Trophy. Exeter City win the promotion playoff final. Real Madrid win the Champions League. And Real Betis win the Europa League. Foundations put into place for season one. That's where it's gonna come to a conclusion. Let's get into season two, see what gems of players we find and see if we can grow the squad and potentially keep going up the table. So we kick off season number two, signing a real world player. It is gonna be Julian Van Mus, the Swiss striker, joining us from FC Basel for 630,000 pounds. Australia has a bit of a history, a bit of a track record of scouting or bringing up big world-class goalkeepers. We're very good at making goalkeepers here in Australia. And it looks like we might just have found the next generation of Socceroos goalkeeper, Patrick Lee from our Youth Academy. 65 overall, 77 and 94 potential. We're gonna promote him to the senior team. So we have sold Reese Taylor. Reese was originally our main goalkeeper, now our third goalkeeper, third string. Now, not even our goalkeeper because he is off to Shanghai Shenhua for 210,000 pounds. So one for one in terms of transferred players, of course, youth players coming in, but Von Moose in, Taylor out. I tried going for a new center back, but I keep getting this glitch with young players where it says they're not willing to relocate at the moment, which is quite frustrating. Oh, look at that. Dembele's back to Fulham. That warms my heart. All right, let's see how we're going halfway through the season if we don't bring in any youth players. So here we are on the 1st of January and what a difference this is compared to last season. We sit in third position and I'm putting it majority of it down to our man Rose that we scouted because look at that. He is already 74 overall. This guy is something special. And I mean, it's a very, very, very close top of the table sort of thing, very top half of the table, but we really need to make sure that one of our goals now is promotion, at least playoffs. A big, big, big defensive signing here at the nearing end of the January transfer window. It is Modibo Sagnan signing from the French League, signing from RC Lens for one million pounds. That is a massive pickup for our back line. So Sagnan into the club, nobody out. This squad is starting to come together nicely. Rose, I cannot believe this guy. I'm gonna hold on to him for either the majority of the rebuild or sell him on for an absolute bomb. But we'll see in the future. Let's see what the rest of season two holds. So we're gonna promote a player from our youth academy here. We're gonna promote a fair few of them, but Adam Cunningham here looks like an absolute beast. Adam Cunningham looks like the next generation of American superstar. So welcome to the senior team, mate. Ethan Hughes also wants promotion to the senior team. I was on the fence about him, but he does have good potential. So worst case scenario, we keep him, grow him for a few years, then sell him on for a tidy couple of million. So welcome to the senior team, Ethan Hughes. We're gonna sign another Youth Academy player here. Giacomo Marino is coming in, 61 overall, 18 years of age. Welcome to the main team. Get in there, lads. We have been promoted. Here we are at the end of the season and we hang on to that final automatic promotion spot, finishing in third position on 79 points. 
we go up to League One with Shrewsbury and Swindon Town. Liverpool did win the FA Cup over Spurs. Spurs won the Carabao Cup over Fulham. Burton Albion win the Checker Trade Trophy. Gillingham join us in League One next season, taking down Colchester in the League Two playoffs. Barcelona win the Champions League on penalties. And Manchester United win the Europa League. So season two was a stark contrast compared to the first season. And now we're looking to carry that momentum over as we get into the third division in season number three. We begin this third season off with a massive striker signing. Well, a decent psych striker signing. Ayo Akinola, the American striker, has joined us from Toronto FC for only £800,000. Welcome to Macclesfield. A new right back signing here as well as we bring in Jordan Teze from PSV Eindhoven. We signed Dutchman for exactly £1 million. And a third signing here for this opening window of season three. It is Eric Garcia. He joins us from Wolfsburg, originally at Man City, but he joins us from Wolfsburg for £1.4 million. So obviously we focused more on getting real world players rather than youth academies for this window and we've done a good job. Akinola, Tezzi and Garcia. And that's what our starting 11 looks like. So that Rose guy could realistically be 80 rated in League One by the end of the season, which is madness. But let's go and check out how we're doing halfway through season three. I am going to go ahead and promote a player from our youth academy to the senior team though. Sam Wright, welcome to the senior team. Okay, so here we are at the halfway point of the season and we're in fifth place in League One. So we definitely are in a decent position to have back-to-back -back promotions. I would love to get up to the championship. How good would that be? Walsall and Sunderland right now looking the best, and that's a real battle for us. I reckon our best hope is playoffs at least. And then we're going to bring in another Youth Academy player here, Paul Schwartz, coming in on to the senior team. So yeah, besides bringing in that Youth Academy bloke, we haven't done any business in January. But let's see if we can make a push for promotion to the championship at the end of this third season. So we have finished the League One season in third position, but my God, look how close that top, like the third to sixth is. Walsall and Sunderland automatically go up. Three teams, including ourselves, tied on 91 points. We're gonna have to try going up to the championship through the playoff system. Can we do it? I sure do hope so. Lincoln City, Bristol Rovers, Mansfield Town, and Swindon Town all relegated. Man United did win the FA Cup final on penalties ahead of Man City. Brighton took down Watford to win the Carabao Cup. Charlton Athletic won the Checker and Trade Trophy. We lost the playoff final to Oxford United. God damn, we almost had back-to-back -back promotions. We took out Portsmouth in the semis, but we lose to Oxford United in the final. God damn it, lads. Next season, we have to make our goal to be promotion, automatic promotion, surely. Atletico Madrid did win the Champions League final over Man City. And AC Milan took down Sevilla in the Europa League final. So that is season three done and dusted. So unlucky not to get promoted. Surely we're going to do it next season. Let's get into season four with Macclesfield. So we have decided to go back to following the Youth Academy route for this one season here, for season four, because we weren't really blessed with much financial support. Our side, entire starting 11 is all young players, so I thought let's go in for some more young players. Let's get the Youth Academy popping. Let's see what we can do. So if I sign anybody to the senior team, I'll let you know. If not, I'll see you halfway through the season to see how our race for promotion is coming along. I know I've signed an excess of goal keepers really but we just keep getting really good goalkeepers in the scouting programs we're gonna bring in this guy Zayko Puhovic no that's terrible pronunciation Zayko Puhovski apologies to any Croatian uh, followers that I might have offended but I honestly have no idea how to pronounce that regardless we're gonna promote this bloke to the senior team he looks bloody good we are absolutely killing it this season at the halfway point we find ourselves top of league one we're eight points ahead of second place Ipswich and 11 points ahead of 13 place Barnsley. 
We are looking very good at the moment to get promoted up to the championship. Hopefully we can hang on there. Just looking down the table. Fleetwood, Blackpool, Bury and Bradford all struggling, but we're not focused on them. We're focused on ourselves. Just like the first window, no business done. I'm all about the Youth Academy, this rebuild, fellas. Let's see if we can bring any more rebuild or Youth Academy players in, I should say, and see if we're going to get automatically promoted to the championship. Although this Bogdan Petkovic, Petkovic fella doesn't really have great potential, I'm going to promote him to the senior team purely for the fact that he's already decently rated and we can grow him over the next few seasons, then sell him on for a tidy 5, 10 million. So that's small, but a decent investment for not much money put in. So welcome to the senior team, Petkovic. We're going to promote another Youth Academy player here. Gilles Peters is coming to the senior team, the Belgium right midfielder. All right, so I'm going to actually make a bold decision here, and I'm going to promote every youth player here to the senior team. After this season, I'm not going to be bothering with, this, with the Youth Academy anymore. We've got a nice little batch of players coming through. A lot of players with great potential. So we'll make judgment calls as we go. This Luca Peters guy looks really good. Um, we're going to continue promoting players. Uh, Dubois is going to be the only player that we don't promote at the moment. But the Youth Academy is looking strong. Get in there, lads. We have had an absolute killer of a season. 108 points. We have made it to the championship with absolute ease. Only four losses for the entirety of the season. That is fantastic to see. So it's ourselves and Rotherham automatically going up to the championship. A lot of clubs to fight it out for promotion in the playoffs with Coventry, Northampton, Blackpool and Bradford all being automatically relegated. Manchester City win the FA Cup. Arsenal win the Carabao Cup. Rotherham win the Checker Trade Trophy. Barnsley win the playoffs. Atletico Madrid win the Champions League over Spurs. And Manchester City win the Europa League. So it's been a very fast season for you guys. A pretty long season for me having to go through all the Youth Academy scouting reports and all that stuff. But we are into the championship. We are on to season five and we are making big strides here with Macclesfield. Season 5 begins with a player departure as we sell Miles Welch Hayes to St. Mirren for £190,000. Another player has gone Ryan Lloyd off to Bury for £170,000. And Nathan Blizzard has been sold to Energy Cotbus. Never heard of them, but he has signed for them for £170,000. A defensive signing here to kick off this fifth season, Lars Lucas Mai from Bayern Munich. Coming into the club here, only 2 million pounds his release clause was, 74 rated, 8.5 million value. That is a fantastic little piece of business there. Welcome to Macclesfield, Lars Lucas Mai. Three more player departures here. I'm completely cleaning out a lot of the older players from our squad, but uh, we have sold Ben Stevens to uh, Gornick Zabzre for 360,000 pounds. Uh, I sold James Pearson to Kilmar... Kilmarnock, oh my god, my pronunciations are terrible. But he's gone there to 200, for 200,000 pounds. And then Tyrone Marsh is off to Elfsborg for 320,000 pounds. Lads, we have just made millions and millions of pounds. Rebuild has been saved forever because we have sold David Fitzpatrick for 440. Wait, no, that's not 440 million. That's 44.5 thousand pounds. Rebuild saved. I wasn't lying when I said I was getting rid of a lot of players. We have sold Harry Smith to uh, Aldozovi? Where are all these clubs coming from? And another player departure, Luke Simpson off to, yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with that club name. <laughs> 69,000 pounds is the fee. We have stretched the budget here to bring in a new attacking midfielder. All the way from FC Tokyo, we have brought in Takafusa Kubo for the sum of 8.7 million pounds. So probably our most active transfer window yet. We brought in May and we brought in Kubo and we sold a whole variety of players, but this squad realistically could push for promotion. With some of our regen players, like Youth Academy players, just absolutely killing it at the moment. I mean, Rose is 84 rated, Cunningham 79, Greco 80. Like we've got a damn good squad, but We'll check in at the midway point and see how our opening season in the championship is faring. Okay, here we are, halfway through the season, and we're actually in with a shot of getting promoted. I thought maybe mid-table, maybe borderline playoffs, 
But we're sitting in fourth position right now. Wow, okay, so we could really have a crack this season. Fulham are doing incredible, which is great for me to see being a Fulham fan. I know I say it too much, but uh, yeah, I'm a Fulham fan. I don't know if I told you. And on a side note, I'm going to be over in England in January slash February going to watch some Fulham games. So make sure you keep an eye out at the Brighton and Crystal Palace game. But I digress. We sit in fourth. That's where we're going. Hopefully we can push for promotion this season. And yeah, given how much money we spent in the opening window, <laughs> we weren't going to be able to do any business here in January. But... I honestly don't know what to expect for the second half of this season. We're not going to waste any more time. We're going to get jumping. We're going to get jumping. Great English, Jared. We're going to jump into it and see how the end of season five finishes. We miss out on automatic promotion through goddamn goal difference. Come on, Huddersfield. One goal, I believe, or one or two goals difference between us and automatic promotion. God damn. So now we have to slog it out in the playoffs against Norwich, Blackburn, and Middlesbrough. Will we join Fulham and Huddersfield in the Premier League? We're going to find out. But as we scroll down the table here, who's getting relegated? Rotherham, Barnsley, and QPR. Manchester United do win the FA Cup. Man City win the Carabao Cup. We lose on pen... What the... F what is this season? What is this season, man? We lose on penalties to Blackburn in the goddamn playoff final. Come on, man. AC Milan win the Champions League. And Everton, fair play to Everton. They win the Europa League. A heartbreaking, a truly heartbreaking season for us. So unlucky not to make it into the top flight. But next season, we'll come back with a brand new vengeance and hopefully, just hopefully, get ourselves Premier League football with Macclesfield. So we're going to start this season off with a player departure. Callum Evans is off to CD Tondela for £490,000. And another player departure here as we sell Modibo Sagnan to a Portuguese side. I'm not going to try pronunciating, but the Frenchman is off there for £4 million. Someone that is continuously asked to be signed in my rebuilds has been brought to the club. It is Ethan Ampadu with the dreadlocks. 77 rated, the Welshman comes from Chelsea for 12 million pounds. Another player to punch here as we sell Scott Wilson to New York City FC for 260,000 pounds. Not a bad upgrade that, moving from Macclesfield to new bloody New York City. That's not a bad scenery change. So one big signing and three players out. And Pardew is going to really shore up our defense for this season. So I feel like considering we have an 86 rated right winger and an 84 rated goalkeeper, we need to be making promotion our number one priority. Let's see how that goal is coming along halfway through the season though. That's what we want to see lads. We are top of the championship table on the 1st of January but things are definitely not comfortable because that is a very very close top six and a very close top eight to be honest. Only nine points between us and eighth placed Hull City. So whether we survive well, no not we're, we're going to survive but whether we get promoted automatically, whether we make the playoffs and get potentially promoted through there is really going to be a big question but at least a lot of our squad is still growing so that fills me with confidence we're going to be making a massive 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 pre-contract signing he doesn't have much confidence in us he only wants a one-year contract but i don't really care because we are going to be having gonzalo guedes into the club next season the portuguese left midfielder is going to be playing striker for us and i mean if we get into the premier league we're going to have a pretty good side having Rose, who's already 87, a good goalkeeper, who's like 85. We've got a pretty stacked squad. Um, Youth Academy paid off. But next season, Gwedesh is going to be a Macclesfield Town player. So we have brought in just Gonshualo Gwedesh for next season. Uh, nobody else in this transfer window. Couldn't really bring anybody else into the starting 11 that I thought would really help us. But the Youth Academy route was a great route to take because our side is looking pretty damn good. I would be very surprised if we didn't get promoted this season, but let's see how we go. Get in there, lads. We finished top of the bloody championship, and we will be into the Premier League in season number seven. It is ourselves and Bristol City being automatically promoted with Burnley, Bournemouth, West Brom, and Aston Villa, four famous clubs 
fighting it out for the final spot. As we scroll down the table, let's have a look at who got relegated. And it's going to be Oxford United, Reading, and Wigan Athletic. Chelsea did win the FA Cup over Manchester United. And Manchester United also won at the Carabao Cup. Aston Villa took down Bournemouth on a penalty shootout to get up to the Premier League with ourselves in Bristol. Real Madrid took down Inter Milan to win the Champions League final. And Napoli take down Spurs to win the Europa League. So that is a fantastic season there. Premier League football for Macclesfield. Our team is absolutely on fire. I'm excited for the season ahead, lads. Let's get into the Premier League. We are going to start this season off with a player departure. Our first year in the Premier League is going to see us sell Lars Lucas Mai to Gent in, or Gent, yeah, Gent in the Belgian League for £17.9 million. We have kicked off life in the Premier League with another massive defensive pickup. The Croatian centre back Filipe Benkovic is coming across from Roma. We have signed him for £36.8 million. Really going to shore up our back line. And I mean, how good do those Premier League badges look on the Macclesfield kit? We have sold our Swiss striker. Well, not anymore. He's not ours anymore. He's sells to Vigo's. Julian Van Moos is off to sell to Vigo for £21.7 million. We have sold one of our many goalkeepers that we brought in during the uh, regen revolution. Ethan Hughes off to Bournemouth for 8.7 million pounds. The cash has well and truly been splashed as we jump in and sign ourselves a new starting striker here, really upgrading there. Christian Kwame is signing from Leon for 46 million pounds. The Ivorian with the mad hair joins us here. Big, big, big picker. Benkovic and Kwame into the club. May, Von Moose, and Hughes out of it. And I mean, I've done a lot of rebuilds where I've come up divisions, but I think this is the best ever team I have had when I've come up from the championship to the Premier League. We've got an 88 rated 22, 22 year old winger. Look at that, 23 now, 88 rated. Greco is 22 and 86 rated. Like this side is something else. This is crazy good. Let's see how our opening season in the Premier League is going halfway through it. I definitely don't think we're going to be in the relegation battle for once, though. So halfway through the season, we are, what's that? Six points out of the relegation zone. We sit in 12th. If I'm being honest, I thought we'd be a little bit higher. I mean, we can easily get up to those seventh, sixth spots with a little run of form. But yeah, I thought we'd be a little bit higher. But again, as long as we don't get relegated, I'm happy. Uh, Watford, Aston Villa and Bristol City. Can't say the same for them though. And then Liverpool, they are top of the league. So yeah, after our big spending spree in the opening window, no business was able to be done in this one. But will this side be enough to... I don't really know what to expect from the second half of the season. Let's just have some fun, lads. Let's have some fun with Macclesfield. So we had a pretty decent second half of the season there. If you look to the bottom of the screen, now the middle of the screen, we finished in eighth position. Went up and had a pretty good second half of the season. But I definitely think we should be able to make a push for at least Europa League football next season. Eighth place with Macclesfield in our first season in the Premier League is bloody fantastic though. Uh, Liverpool did go on to win the league uh, by five points. And then Fulham, Aston Villa and Bristol City all relegated. Man United did take down Arsenal to win the FA Cup. Liverpool won, no sorry, Tottenham won the Carabao Cup on penalties. Real Madrid win an El Clasico Champions League final. And Manchester United take down Liverpool to win an all English Europa League final. So a brilliant start to life in the Premier League. I expect to only get better as the seasons go on. Come on Macclesfield, let's get the job done. One of our bigger name regens has departed the club. Our backup goalkeeper, Zyko Puchowski, has gone to Hoffenheim for 51.1 million pounds. Crazy that we got this guy for basically nothing. And now we've sold him on. We've developed him a little bit. Definitely could have grown a lot more, but I mean, our current goalkeeper is crazy and we've sold him off for 51 million. And we have sold another one of our regen players, Paul Schwartz, heading back to Germany off to Dusseldorf for 12.2 million pounds. Our first signing for this season is gonna be the upgrade of the right back spot. We bring in Nordi Mukele, Mukiele, or Nordi, let's just call him Nordi, Mukele from Borussia Dortmund for 46.2 million pounds. We upgraded at the right back spot. Now we're gonna upgrade at the left back spot. Gianluca Ita 
is going to sign. Now, I don't think the left back is our final solution for left back, but he's definitely a temporary option that can grow over the next season or two or three or four or ten. But welcome to Macclesfield, Gianluca Itta. Defenders in... Mukele, I, I don't know how to pronounce the guy's name. That's sorry. No, Naughty's in and Eater's in. And then Pohovsky and Schwartz are out. Look at that. Rose is 90 rated. Greco's 80. I can't believe how good we did in terms of the youth scouting so far. But let's see how we go on halfway through this season. Okay, lads. This is better to see. We are definitely in the title race, sort of. But definitely in the uh, top four race. So hopefully that is achievable. We're not going to be able to many, make many... Um, make much business offers. Wow, I am not learning English today. What the hell? I did well in high school at English and I, and I talk for a living and I cannot string a sentence together. Get it together, Jared. Just say relatable. But we sit in fifth position. Hopefully we can make a push for the top four. Not sure how much business we're gonna be able to do in this window. Yes, yes, oh my God, yes. We have just done an absolute madness. Killian, bloody Mbappe, 27, look, like that's, that's fucked, that's honest, that is, oh my god, Mbappe, 27 years of age, 95 overall, we're paying him an absolute fee, 445,000, but next season, Mbappe's gonna be a Macclesfield Town player, so yeah, Mbappe coming in is a pretty big piece of business, very excited to have him next season, and then I think we're gonna have to upgrade the defense and midfield a little bit more, but this side's coming along quite nicely. Will we make top four for next season? Let's find out. We miss out on top four by goal differential behind bloody Spurs, and we're a point behind Liverpool as well, and then three behind Chelsea. Come on, man, one different result. Look at that, if we don't draw with Tottenham on the last day or on the opening day of the season, we get top four. Very frustrating, but Europa League football for us next season. City and Arsenal had bad seasons. Newcastle, Bournemouth, and Huddersfield all got relegated, though. Everton took down Hull City to win the FA Cup. Man United took down Spurs to win the Carabao Cup. Chelsea took down Real Madrid to win the Champions League. And AC Milan took down Leverkusen to win the Europa League. I'm just really excited for Mbappe to come in next season. Hopefully, we get to splash the cash. Oh, Neymar signed for Man United. That's mad. Uh, but hopefully, we splash the cash next season and really take this Macclesfield side to the next bloody level. Sander Berge is going to be our opening signing for this season. The Norwegian defensive midfielder comes across from Tottenham for exactly £50 million. A big, big, big addition to our midfield. Upgrading at the centre-back spot once again, Bubakar Kamara is coming across from Southampton for £40 million. 85 rated. I feel like if we were in the Champions League this season, we could realistically be having a solid shot at it. But our squad is going to be looking real good. So £90 million spent. Nobody out of the club, which is something I didn't expect, but we couldn't really get many offers in. But Sanderberg and Kamara in. And I mean, look at that. That's a filthy looking starting 11. And Mbappe, Rose and Greco still with room to grow. That's mental. Surely we make the Champions League this season. Let's see how we're going halfway through the season. So not the best, but definitely not the worst position to be in heading halfway through into the Premier League season. We sit in sixth position on 34 points, but fortunately we are still in the top four hunt quite easily and sort of in the title race hunt. But right now, uh, yeah, our main goal just needs to be top four. We're close. And we have sold one of our Youth Academy products, Brent. Van der Velde is off to Nice for 1.5 million pounds. And a very significant player departure here as Gonzalo Guedes, our striker, is headed to Bayer Leverkusen for 39.2 million pounds. Thank you for your service, mate. And it is an extreme striker upgrade here as we spend 58 million pounds and bring in Moise Keane from Juventus. What a... Signing, Moise Keane in, Van der Valde and Guedes out of the club. Are we going to qualify for the Champions League this season? I sure do hope so. Come on, Macclesfield, let's do it. Get in there, lads. We've had an awesome second half of the season, and we end up finishing second in the Premier League, which means 
we get Champions League football in what I believe will be season number 10. I've been recording this. This is the fifth day that I've been recording this, so I'm kind of losing track of what season I'm in, but we finished second. Chelsea do win the Premier League, and who got relegated? Cardiff, Leeds, and Burnley. Sean Dyche must not have been playing his Brexit football. We lost the FA Cup final. Oh, we've come so close to silverware there, but Man City take those honours. Arsenal absolutely destroy Everton to win the Carabao Cup. AC Milan win the Champions League. I'm interested to see how deep we're gonna be able to get to go next season. And we win the Europa League. How good is that? We take down Wolfsburg in the Europa League final. Look at that. That is so good. We beat Sassuolo in the semis. Leverkusen in the quarters. We would have taken down Gonzalo Guedes there. Uh, Who would we beat in the round of 16? We beat Feyenoord in the round of 16. And we beat Udinese in the round of 32. But Macclesfield Town, Europa League winners. So it has been a fantastic season. Winning the Europa League fills me with a lot of confidence that we can do some magic next season in the Champions League. But let's see where we improve and how we go in our opening Champions League campaign. Upgrading at the centre back spot here to kick off season number 10. It is going to be Edir Militao coming across from Manchester United for 47.5 million pounds. We're going in hard here. Sofian Diop is going to be our latest signing, splashing the cash on the Frenchman, bringing him in from Bayern Munich for 73.2 million pounds. Maybe we overpaid a little, but honestly, I do not care. This guy looks like an absolute beast. Militao and Diop into the club for this 10th season. Diop picked up a little injury, but will this squad potentially get us the Champions League glory? It's a pretty stacked team, but let's check out our group for the first time in the Champions League. So an interesting group here. We've been put into Group F with Napoli, Leverkusen, and Brondby. Uh, I think we should be able to get out of it. Napoli tend to always have a good side deep in career modes, but let's see if we can get through to the knockout rounds at the first time of asking. So we absolutely crushed our group. Napoli didn't even get through it. Ourselves and Leverkusen, we went undefeated in the group stages and easily get to the knockout rounds. Who are we going to be versing in the knockout rounds? It is going to be AS Roma. In the round of 16, that'll be very, very interesting. Keen to see what sort of a side they have right now. And at the midway point of the Premier League, it's a similar situation to how last season finished. Chelsea in first, us in second. Hopefully we can qualify and finish top four again because if we don't win the Champions League this season, we want to make sure we're in it again next season. So yeah, after how much we spent in the opening window, no real surprise to see us unable to bring anybody into the club. But will this side be enough? take us deep, maybe even all the way in the Champions League. Let's find out. Let's take on Roma. It is time, lads, for the away leg against Roma. Come on, lads. We don't have the king himself, Toby Rose. He is out for a little while through injury, so we put Kubo in the right mid spot for him. Justin Clivert in there, Pellegrini, Luis Felipe Blanco. They've got a decent side. Milik on the bench. I would love an away goal here. Would die for it. 40 minutes to go. Nothing happening. Just some substitutions and cards for us. Is it going to be nil all? Cunningham, the American, is going to get us an away goal here. And we are going to take... Yep, there it is. A 1-0 advantage into the second leg. We get one away goal, but I would have loved more. All right, we have a 1-0 advantage here with the away goal advantage. Still no Toby Rose in the starting 11. Come on, lads. An early goal for us would be fantastic. Let's get it. There it is. Mbappe getting us a lead. He could have made it 3-0 on aggregate. And that would have just about put us through. But Roma need to score three goals now. Ita gets red carded, which is not good for the, for the quarterfinals. We probably will get there. Cunningham gets us another goal. We're 3-0 up, but we're going to be without Ita for the quarterfinals, it seems. Ten minutes to go. There it is. They get a goal back, but we get another one through Cassidy. And we are going to go through 4-1 on aggregate. It is an all-English affair for the Champions League quarterfinals. We are taking on Chelsea. It is one set of blues versus another. The away leg kicking off here. We got Rose back into our starting 11, but we are missing Ita. 
through suspension. Their way leg, as we go to Stamford Bridge here, they got Nicolas Ciola. We get a penalty with Mbappe, who converts it and gives us a away goal, a very crucial one. They have Richarlison as well. Jovic on the bench, someone I consider signing. Halfway through it now, halfway through the first leg. Another away goal for us would be absolutely brilliant. Please, 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 please do it. 20 minutes to go. What's going to happen? Maguire on Peters. The young Belgian gets us a second away goal and we take a 2-0 away goal advantage into the second leg. All right, the home leg now. A good performance. We'll see us get through to the semi-finals. Come on, FIFA gods. Don't let us choke it. We don't want to be 2-0 and screw it up. Charleston getting a yellow card. Are we going to get a third goal? Here we do. It's Rose, the man that's back from injury, makes it 3-0. It's going to take a monumental choke now for us to not get through to the next round, through to the semifinals. Cunningham just about gets us through to the semifinals as we go 4-0 up on aggregate. Getting regen players was such a good decision in this rebuild. I need to do it more, but we go through, taking down Chelsea 4-0 on aggregate. We are the only non-Spanish team remaining in the Champions League this season, and we have been dealt a very difficult uh, scenario situation. We are facing Real bloody Madrid. Real Madrid in the semifinals. Come on, lads. We are really about to see what we're made of. Ita back in here for the... Semi-finals. The away leg at the Bernabeu you up first. Come on, lads. Rose! Oh, Rose, you king! Gets us an away goal nice and early. Courtois still on this side. He must be 35, 36 by now. They got a very good side, but I'd be interested to see how much they're growing slash declining. We've got a one-nothing advantage. And Mbappe gets us a second goal. Oh my god, and it's an away goal. Two away goals. Come on, no suspensions, no injuries, and no conceding in these last few moments. Mbappe! Oh, that would have been huge. Imagine if we headed into the second leg with a three away goals advantage. But it doesn't matter yet, because we are 2-0 up with two away goals. So Toby Rose is injured for this second leg here. Hopefully we won't need him. Hopefully we get ourselves through to the Champions League final. We have a 2-0 advantage. An early goal for us would be absolutely brilliant. Come on, lads. I feel like every result we've had has been almost 2-0, but it's going to be Mbappe getting us a 3-0 advantage. How good is that? It's going to take a miracle here. Real Madrid need three goals in the second half. There it is. Cunningham again stepping up. Let's get our good players off. Let's not get any suspensions. Ronaldo getting a third goal for us. Asensio getting a goal back. We are 5-1 up against Real Madrid, and I think that establishes just how good our side is with Macclesfield Town as we are through in convincing fashion to the Champions League final. We dominated so far this season. So we are going to be facing Barcelona. What has happened to my voice? I don't know if you guys can hear that. I need to take a swallow. Jesus, I don't know what happened there, but we're going to be facing Barcelona in the Champions League final. So obviously they took down Atletico Madrid in the semis, they took down Arsenal in the quarters, and they took down Inter Milan in the round of 16. But hopefully, this is where the Macclesfield story ends. Hopefully, we win the Champions League final in season 10. Of course, we need to take a look at the other results before we get into the final. Montpellier taking down Man City to win the Europa League. Get in there, lads. We won the Premier League title. We ended up having a fantastic second half of the season. And we finished nine points ahead of Chelsea to win the Premier League title with Macclesfield Town. Which means if we lose tonight to Barcelona, we get another shot next season. As we scroll down the table, who got relegated? It was Middlesbrough, Fulham, and Newcastle United. Blackburn, where are Blackburn's back into the Prem? Crystal Palace did win the FA Cup, and Chelsea, they won the Carabao Cup. So we are going to have a look at the squad report in what has been a truly remarkable rebuild so far. The Youth Academy has provided some of the best talent we have ever had in rebuild history. Rose and our goalkeeper, most notably Cunningham as well. The Youth Academy really proved to be world class in this rebuild. So proud of what we've done so far. And I mean, even if we don't win tonight, we have a lot of time left with a lot of these young players to go very, very far. Mbappe at 95, Keane at 86. Look at this, this is crazy. Rose, the man of the moment, the captain, 92 rated. Can Toby Rose? Lead Mansfield Town, no, Macclesfield Town, God damn it! to the Champions League final and the Champions League title. Let's find out.
One of the most enjoyable rebuilds I have ever made. Is it about to end? We're about to find out. Here we go, we're on the attack early. We're gonna go through to Mbappe. On the angle, what a start! Oh my God, our first attack of the game. And we're gonna take the lead here. 95 rated, Kylian Mbappe, celebrating with Toby Rose. To Stegen didn't even move. I was so sure that he was offside to begin with. But look at that, we bang it across the face of the goals. This team already feels so bloody smooth. Mbappe's a freak and we have the lead. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh my God, that would have been a terrible goal to concede. Here we go, we're gonna hit them off the goal kick though. Mbappe pushes him over. Oh my god! What is this fucking game? Kylian Mbappe makes it 2-0. This guy is a freak. What? This this rebuild has been remarkable in more ways than one. But we are exceeding ourselves. Mbappe pushes the bloke over off the goal kick and scores from that angle. What? I want to see the replay of this. So we play a beautiful through ball. We push the bloke over. We hit it first time. What the what? What is that? Now we're trying to hit them on the counter. Mbappe already looking for a hat-trick within 16 bloody minutes. Wouldn't that be something? It might be on here. Keane going through. Mbappe! No! Mbappe's got a hat-trick within 17 minutes. You are kidding me. Oh my god, what is... What? I have never had a, I have never had a game of FIFA like... I've never had a Champions League final like this. Mbappe's a freak. Oh my god, Mbappe, you are a freak. Here we go, Keane. Nice ball through to Burge. I wanted Mbappe to be on side. We're going to go through, though. Toby Rose on the angle. Makes it 4-0. Oh, no, he's offside. God damn it. This is honestly too easy. Barcelona on the attack here. We can't let them get back into this one. Arthur takes the strike, fortunately, straight at Greco. But you've got to be hanging on to those ones, mate. Dembele doing step overs. Coming through here for Barca. Kamara's trying to defend him. Klosterman. Going to Saul. Going to Puig. Arthur to Puig. Barcelona starting to get their way back into it, but it's a good save there from Greco. Here we go. Can we score off the kickoff? That would be something. Beautiful ball. Mbappe to Diop. Oh, that should have been 4-0. We've got to be scoring that. Here we go. Beautiful overlap stuff there. Sander Burge, the latest person. With a look in on goal and he smashes it. What a finish there. This is my first game since the new patch. And it honestly feels really, really smooth. I'm a big fan of it. Maybe it's just our ridiculously good team that's making it feel fun. But that was a crazy good finish. I thought he was going to lose possession, but he has the physicality. And that is a world-class finish there from Sander Burge. The Champions League is going to be ours, surely. Dembele. Oh, nice ball roll there. In a good position. It's a beautiful block, though. Fantastic block. Let's see what we can do on the counter, though. We get that one out to Toby Rose. Keen to see what he can do. Nice skills. Toby Rose running up the guts. Look at the numbers. We're going to feed it there to Mbappe. I want Rose to score. I want Rose to score. I want Rose to score, and he scores. This team is honestly ridiculous. I mean, in the entirety of the Champions League this season, we have not lost a game, and it looks like it's going to be not another loss. We are 5-0 up. This team is honestly like, with, for lack of a better word, this team is fucked. This team is ridiculous. Diop, over the top. Can, can Mbappe get another goal here? Mbappe, oh, hits the crossbar. That could have been six. Barcelona with a throw in here. They go to Dembele. To be fair, Dembele is basically the only player that's looked half decent for Barcelona today. They put that one into the area. It falls. They've got a great angle. That's a great save from Greco. No, don't get red carded. No, 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 not the captain. No, not the captain. Toby Rose, that was just me being stupid. No, I wanted to see Toby Rose lift the Champions League trophy. Oh, why did I do that? Our captain, our hero, red carded in the 91st minute. 
and he's not gonna get to see us lift the Champions League trophy. That one, that one hurts on a deep level. Fucking hell, Jared, why'd you do that? They're going in the area here. I don't even want to control anymore. I feel depressed after that. Barcelona looking for a consolation goal. I feel depressed after that, but that's gonna be the end of the rebuild, fellas. We have absolutely destroyed the competition in this season and this has got to be one of the most enjoyable rebuilds we have ever made if you guys enjoyed it make sure you please please leave a like on this video it's wasted not wasted it's just taken a long time in my life make sure you scorpion kick that subscribe button if you are new around here but i will let you enjoy the champions league celebrations the title celebrations it's been jared hd here i am out peace this can't be the end no Yeah, you raise the bar.